we want to be the best and that's on the field off the field and the, the team on the field can only be as good as, as as the staff that you have off the field and um, on the technical side we've got a, a completely new coaching staff we brought everybody in to improve the technical side and these are all full-time uh, full-time coaches so that's a significant improvement for us the stadium has been improved significantly and is a soccer specific stadium that rivals any in this country and is in my opinion better than probably 99% of the stadiums in this country for soccer. Bill's commitment to, to the team, to the sport and to the city has, makes it very easy for us to do our jobs because he commits resources that enable us to, to be the best that we can be. So one thing that Mr. Edwards has been able to do is just bring this awareness that there's a professional soccer team called the Rowdies that are playing in you know, downtown St. Peter at Alling Stadium. So for me, that's, you know, that was very significant. Um, you also look at the, the stadium, uh, the locker room. I mean, you know, we take the, the, both the home and the visitor's locker room. You know, the, everything that we've done to that, to replacing the flooring, the ceiling, all the lockers. We now have our own you know, weightlifting room. It's, uh, it's like a gymnasium inside the stadium. It's very, very professional, as it should be, because we're a professional club. Um, you look at uh, you know, the, the lounge area that we have for the players, the, the TV sets that we have up. It's, it's first class, you know, and this is the way that Mr. Edwards, from the beginning, what he pictured, and this is obviously where he wanted to be. Going into the 2015 season, um, Bill has you know, obviously selected a new president, general manager, Fruit Karishi, a new head coach, Thomas Rangan. And when you have changes at the top, obviously there are going to be changes you know, throughout the team. So again, Thomas being one of the most experienced coaches in America, he's very familiar with you know, the landscape here, as I call it, you know, in American soccer. So again, with his contacts and everything that he has, you know, he's reached out and says, you know what, I want to rebuild the team. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm, you know, how I want to rebuild it. And, you know, we'll start with this season. So again, we signed, I think, 20, 21 new players. And uh, so, you know, it's, it's all coming full circle. And, you know, again, from where we're at and where we want to be, we're on the right track. Very, just like Farouk is somebody I played against in the old NESL when we had this great uh, rivalry uh, between the Fort Lauderdale Strikers and, and the Tampa Bay Rowdies when they used to play in the old Sombrero, obviously in Tampa. Uh, I've got a tremendous amount of respect for him. Uh, he captained uh, the U.S. national team, he's in the Olympic team, obviously uh, a player of very high uh, caliber that has transitioned into, uh, into management. Uh, he's very important uh, when it comes to, uh, to trades. Uh, he's just a guy that, uh, that makes it all work, you know, uh, nuts and bolts guys, goes with players to their doctor's appointment, uh, picks players up from the airport. Uh, he's just a guy, as I said again, that, that loves this club. Uh, leads the colors of, uh, of the Rowdies and is a guy that I got a tremendous amount of respect for and, and, and also in his capacity um, uh, our working relationship is very very important uh, so with him uh, just like with Farouk I have a, uh, a very good dialogue a healthy good dialogue which is very important uh, in order for us to accomplish certain things be it a trade uh, uh, finalizing some, some details on, on a way trip and the list goes on and on.